Well, hey everybody. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of what I've been working on for the last uh, oh, couple months part-time. This is my Shack Control software. It's written in Python and it attempts to take control of the entire array of radios here in the W2ZZA KC2LGK Shack which right now is in a bit of a disarray and it also takes control of amplifiers and so on. So if we can get a little focus on the screen here you see it's running. You can see my reflection off the glass. I'll turn on one of the amplifiers. Turn on one of the uh, rigs. You'll hear relays clicking in the background. I'm going to click with the mouse on the preset button over here and you see that the antenna matrix selector in this corner shifts. I'll use a preset click here and you can see how they move from one configuration to another. Of course you can individually select any of the points in the antenna matrix and any that are disallowed are turned off when you select one. For example, you can only have one selection per row and per column simultaneously. So if I click here, that's a valid selection, but if I click here, it will supersede the one I previously clicked. So the lines coming in horizontally are from the transmitting devices, receiving devices, and the vertical lines go to antennas and to the dummy load, which can be activated, turned on. You hear a little relay click there. It turns on the fan and the dummy load. So that's the antenna matrix. Of course, there's the rig selection aspect of it. There's um, these rigs here, which the HF rigs are at the top. And then you go through the uh, VHF, UHF rigs, 6 meter rig, and then here the trio, which is the uh, 2 meter, 220, and 70 centimeter rig, which are standalone, but encompass a selection for antennas. And, well, for a uh, uh, microphones. Here are the audio source selections, RE20 mic, SE, SM8 mic, a hand mic, or a line input. And each of those will be routed according to the color here uh, based on the push to talk line that's pressed here, which are foot switch buttons. And so if you so select a scheme here in the presets, see that the RE20 would feed on the blue bus to the 756 Pro, and that would feed to the SB220 amplifier and out to the antenna connected, the fourth antenna, which is on node 5 in the um, antenna matrix. This is a matrix of uh, hardwired relays that can be activated or deactivated in a matrix form. Um, so that's what I've been working on. You can hear some I.O. relays clicking in the background. I won't get into that right now, but there are uh, actually patterns of I.O. that control uh, these functions. It's all running on Raz Pi, which is all kind of breadboarded right now. It's right here. And there's some of the relays. I'll just make some selections and you'll see LEDs changing and uh, selecting and deselecting different items. We'll change the different patterns of relay selections, which are binary coded at this point, just for the purposes of exercising uh, some mechanical I.O. while I'm doing the testing of the functionality of the uh, software. Now from the perspective of, um, oh, there's one other thing, I'll show you that. I'll run the application again here. You see how it's also uh, logging some of the uh, uh, mechanical transactions that are taking place. But if we set up one of the schemes here, you'll note here up on the routing switcher that as I select a different radio, you see the LED changing with the selection I make. Top LED is moving across. That's an audio and video routing switcher, but it's I'm using it to show that um, serial data can be exchanged between devices uh, to control any serial device. That requires a very terse sentence of serial data to uh, control it, but it's um, an example of how the control software can do that also. Plenty of plans for the future. I'll get into that in the next video.